What's up guys, Nate Parker here with another YouTube video. Today's video is gonna be on how to download movies. Now I've been doing videos on how to put them into the DVDs, uh, how to rip DVDs, but today I'm gonna show you actually how to download them. Now you're gonna need one thing and it's called uTorrent. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to download it plus use it. So, and all the links will be in the description for these sites. So, first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser. And just type in www.utorrent.com slash downloads. And like I said, it will be in the description. Now, this will pop up. Now, if you have a Windows, a Mac, a Linux, whatever, just come here and click on the one that you have. I'm running Windows. So, what you're going to do is you're going to hit... Uh, Download uTorrent, the stable 3.2 built. That's like the newest one. <coughs> so go ahead and just hit download now and let this load. Sorry if I'm coughing a lot or whatever, I'm getting over a cold. And then right here it says, Do you want to run our save uTorrent? Then you can just hit the down arrow, save as, save to wherever you want. And once it's done, you'll run it and install it. Normal stuff. So once you've done that, just go ahead. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Pirate Bay. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in thepiratebay.se. Or whatever, I'll have it in the link. <coughs> now the movie I'm downloading today is Project X. So it's right here. So you just click on it and look for the one. Let me go back. Here. Look for the one with the, it says SE. Look for the one with the most SEs. And it says the number right here. SEs are Cedars. Uh, they make the download go faster. But sometimes up at the top, you'll see one and it'll be like this much or even more. And then the upload will be like yesterday or today. Don't, like, definitely make sure you read the comments or if there are comments, don't download it. It could just be fake or spam or whatever. So don't do that. And, like, for some of them, it'll say DVD rip. Like, this, this isn't the one I'm downloading, but it says DVD rip. Those are the ones you try to look for. But sometimes I just go with ones that just have the name. So, yeah. So once you find the one you want, Oh, see, I'm glad I didn't download this one, because as you can see, right here, it says text spoken language Spanish. And it says text language Spanish. So we don't want that one. So, uh, once you find the one that you want, though, I'll just use the one I was just on as an example. I've already downloaded this movie, so I'm not actually going to download it, so <clears throat> I'll just show you here. So this will pop up. And only some of them will actually have the picture and tell you what the spoken language is or whatever. But uh, right here, you can see how big it is. This is 1.268 gigabytes. I mean, 1.68 gigabytes. The spoken language, the text, the quality, how many people like, rated it. And right now, it's at zero. No one's rated it. And there's no comments. So this wouldn't be a really good one to download unless you spoke Spanish and could read Spanish. So, But once you find the one that you want to download... You're right here, you're going to hit get this torrent, and you're just going to click it, and then this will pop up, and right here, you can hit this three dots, and you, and you can browse wherever you want the downloaded movie to go to, and you can rename the movie right here, and once you're done, just hit OK, but I don't want that because it's in Spanish, and I already have it. So, so the bigger the file are, like this, like rounded off or whatever is 699 megabytes so depending on how long the movie is is how long it's gonna you know take to download uh so this one wasn't that long but anyway once it downloads this is what it's gonna look like it's gonna say seeding now what i do is i don't like to seed just because i'm picky that way but uh what you want to do to, in order to move the file and rename it and stuff, you have to remove it out of uTorrent. And for you, those of you who don't know how to use uTorrent, uh, most of the time it'll come up as like 
featured torrents are on feeds or whatever to see where your torrent is just hit torrents and it's right there but anyway what you're going to do is make sure you know where this file is saved so what you're going to do is you're going to right click the file and you're going to hit remove and if you don't have an account with the pirate bay you won't be able to rate it or comment anyway so just hit okay now once you're done that you can close uTorrent and then close your internet browser and go to wherever you saved that file. So I have I usually made I made a folder that uTorrent movies. So I download all my uTorrent files into here. And, and there's Project X. So I'll just drag it out here. <coughs> uh, this is the quality. I don't know if my uh, recording system will record this or not. We'll see. Find out in a minute. Yeah, it's not. It's it's not gonna play this uh, because of my recording system. <clears throat> but uh, this is really good uh, quality. Like especially if you get the DVD rips, um, it's free. Anything like that. Um, please check out. My vi other videos, uh, <clears throat> one of them is on the Winx DVD Ripper Platinum, and then the other one is on DVD Flick. Now, DVD Flick allows you to put whatever downloaded movie onto a DVD, and then Winx DVD Ripper Platinum allows you to rip your own movies onto your computer. So please check out my other videos on that. I have a couple other, like, Minecraft ones and stuff like that. So please check them out. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> I'll be doing a lot more videos uh, once I'm done with this cold. So please don't forget to do all that good stuff. And uh, thank you for watching.